Gentleman from California opposed, opposed to the motion. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to the motion to recommit. Gentleman's recognized for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, it never ceases to amaze me at how good my friends on the other side of the aisle have become in putting politics before jobs. They've said no to dozens of jobs bills that the House Republicans have put forward, and no to unleashing investment in small businesses. Mr. Speaker, we have all been somewhere where you've seen a family. A family with a small child, and the child is crying and throwing a tantrum. And the parent turns and gives the child what they want, but the child still cries. Today, we see another good example of something good still not being good enough for the other side. At a time when the economy is struggling, unemployment above 8% for more than 35 consecutive months, underemployment above 15%. When you have a bill here that would unshackle and unleash the small business growth. So it is beyond me why, after both subcommittees, full committee markups, where provisions passed almost unanimously, this idea never came forth. A full and open debate on the floor with 15 Democrat amendments. And what really shocks me the most, the President of the United States offers a statement in support of the bill. But when I read his entire statement, Mr. Speaker, he never mentions this motion to recommit or the concern. So, Mr. Speaker, it's one more time that the floor tries to come together, but politics are put before job growth. So I urge all my friends to come together in a bipartisan fashion the way this bill was created, to vote down this motion and support the underlying bill. I yield back the balance of my time.